your men are the ones on the front line mm -hmm. defending not just this place, but the whole world from ISIS. This is what we've been saying, and this is what uh, I think has been recognized uh, internationally that the Kurds are not only fighting for themselves but for the rest of the world, especially that this is an international organization, a terrorist organization that has attracted people from all over the world. Unfortunately, we are in the front line on our own, and that's why we are asking for international support to come to the aid of the Peshmergers to make sure that uh, we can defeat this enemy on behalf of the rest of the world. What kind of support? Uh, military support mainly. Uh, we have been asking for too long, but unfortunately we haven't received the kind of weapons that we need. We are asking to uh, arm Peshmergas to be uh, armed with heavy equipments to outgun the enemy, to easily defeat the enemy, and to protect Peshmergas. But unfortunately the kind of weapons that uh, Peshmergas have been requesting until now we haven't received uh, the way that you know, th those kinds of weapons that they need. And that's costing lives, is it? Definitely, yes. And you've lost 1,400 lives 1400. so far in the fight? Yes, and about 8,000 Peshmergas have been wounded, some of them paralyzed, and some of them uh, are still taking treatments, so that is the casualty of war. An ordinary Peshmerga soldier, how much does he earn a month? About uh, $500. And those are the men who are defending all of us from ISIS. Definitely. And you haven't been able to pay their salaries for four months. We are trying to pay as much as we can, but the problem is that if there is not enough revenue by the KRG, uh, the priority goes to the Peshmergas, but they have, been, they have not been paid for a few months now. And uh, unfortunately, even the support for the logistics of Peshmergas hasn't been paid at all. They haven't been paid for four months. How is their morale on the front line? Well, the morale is very high. I'm sure that you've visited some of the, some of the special areas in the front line. Uh, they're not uh, fighting for money. But the, the, the question is that uh, what is the responsibility of the international community to support this kind of people who are volunteering to, to fight ISIS and to believe in this cause, to stand against the international terrorism? I think there is a moral responsibility on the international community to come to the assistance of such professionals.